Ah, SDK got updated to version 3. So now I need to show you the changes in that setup. Let's jump right in to the part where it matters. To finish your setup, click your model on the left menu, make sure it's the top one on the hierarchy, then go to the right menu and click add component. Type in VRC and then select VRC avatar descriptor. Then go down to the lip sync option and select auto detect. They should all show up in a list now. To test your blend shapes to verify if they are set up, click on your model in the scene to select it. Click it again so that it puts this orange box around it, which selects the mesh. And on the right, there will be a blend shapes drop down. Open that and you can use the sliders to check your blend shapes. This next part is the only difference in SDK 3. Underneath the lip sync option, there is a button to enable eye look. Click that button to bring up the controls to set your eye movement in game. You can adjust the sliders for the mood you want. You can play with that later. For now, you just need to select your left and right eye bones, then adjust the rotation in each of these fields to get the max movement you want your eyes to have, like this. Once you're done, you set your eyelids to whatever type they are and get that set up. Underneath that is the playable layers option. This is for setting custom animations if you have any. It's fairly easy to set up once you have animations, but the default ones work fairly well too. A little lower down is the expressions button for changing the gesture controls if you really want to. I haven't messed with these, so you'll need someone else's video. That's it for the changes in SDK 3. Now back to the normal stuff. Last but not least, you need your avatar sized and the view ball positioned correctly. The view ball is where your vision will be when in a VR headset. If you care what your height is, then set the height first by doing this. Click your model on the left menu to select it again, and the view ball should appear. If you zoom out, you should see it somewhere. It's measured in meters, so if you're used to feet, just Google how tall you are converted to meters, and then take a few inches off to get your eye height, and set that as the height. Unity uses Y as the height, so you'll place that one first. You then go up to the top where the scale feature is, and scale the X, Y, and Z an equal amount to get your character's size close to where the view ball is. Then go back to the view ball position and adjust the Y and Z numbers to get the view ball centered between your eyes. You want it there because that's where your vision comes from in real life, but if you don't want to do that, then no one's stopping you. If you don't care about your avatar's height, just scale your character and then set the view ball to be positioned right inside the bridge of your nose. Whatever that value is will roughly be your height in game. Once that's set, you're done and you can save your project. We're now ready for the last part, the actual VR chat upload. This is the point when you need to be allowed to upload in game, so go play around and earn that trusted user status. See you soon.